What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Flora Sky. In the last episode we defeated the first gym here in Puel City and today we're going to be heading to the south I believe but before that we got to go heal up. So let's do that real quick. And I have decided to actually stay on the normal version of the game because I, I guess I didn't really thoroughly explain it uh, very well because a lot of people just pretty much commented whether they wanted me to use Chimchar or Charmander. Uh, but then they didn't really understand the whole Padsy detail, which is the low tad, of course. So basically what happens if I switch version is the whole Pokedex actually changes. So even the gym leader that we fought in the previous episode would have actually had different Pokemon. So it literally completely changes the Pokedex to... Even though it does have Pokemon from all the generations, um, it changes all the stuff. So uh, here we still have the whole brother lady detail going on. I Okay, whatever. I just didn't even mean to talk to that guy. I've already talked to you. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't wish to talk to you anymore, but... Let's head to the south, and uh, yeah, I will be staying on this version because I guess I, I don't really... I, I did see some suggestions for people basically saying, you know, to use the other one and get a Squirtle or a Bulbasaur. Uh, but I don't know, I, I really like Chimchar and having Lotad so far, so that is what I am going to go for. And like I said, it changes the Pokedex completely, so it would literally... Um, Lotad, I believe, changes to Budu, and then, you know, the gym leader would have had some other weird Pokemon. And here we have a pretty cool-looking Hippopotas. I don't really know why they chose that sprite out of all of them. I, I don't know, which one is that, anyway? That is a pretty cool sprite, though. So, anyway, we do have Padsy. Um, apparently, people told me that if you have a good water type, you can actually take care of Z Sky here. I was about to say Zane, but uh, that is from another Pokemon hack. I believe Liquid Crystal is it? I don't really remember, but uh, we do have Padsy here, who is half grass, half water type, so eventually he will get those uh, more powerful water type moves. So, anyway, I just realized we're pretty underleveled to fight this guy, so we're actually going to have to switch out right here to Wukong. And uh, thankfully, I don't think this thing still has any ground type moves, so we can go for an Ember and maybe take it out pretty easily. Alright, maybe, maybe not that easily, but... Uh, Still not too difficult. So, yeah, if any of you really have, I don't, I don't know, any other complaints about me being on this version and would like to see the other one, then, uh, I, I re don't really know. I guess I didn't explain it that well, but basically it changes the entire Pokedex, so... Um, I guess I could have gone for, you know, start over and gotten Squirtle instead, but then I would have had to choose another Pokemon that isn't Lotad, and, uh, like I said, it would have changed to Budu, and I don't really enjoy Budu that much, even though, uh, Roserade is probably in this game as well, so... Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and take out this Hippopotas. It's been like a minute taking this guy out, and uh, that is way too long for my liking, so... Does he actually even have another Pokemon? I... no, oh, apparently not. Alright, so there we go. We beat uh, our rival Sky for the first time, and uh, Wukong is going to be evolving, which is awesome saucy. So let's see our cute little Chimchar evolve into Majestic Monferno, which... Uh, Another reason why I'm actually playing this version is, if you guys don't know, Monferno is actually my favorite Pokemon. I I don't really... Well, I've never been one to really say I have a favorite, uh, or at least I've said that before, but in any competition, Monferno would actually be my favorite. Just because of, I don't know, it just, it's always looked cool to me. It's like, it's the only cool-looking monkey-like Pokemon, in my opinion, and I don't know, I just really like the design of Monferno. Infernape... Not as much, it's, it's still pretty cool, but Monferno, just my favorite Pokemon, and thankfully we get to spend quite a lot of time as a Monferno, so, uh, after evolving and defeating Sky, we'll be getting HM06, which, uh, I don't even know what it is, is it, like, Rock Smash or something? Okay, well, apparently we can use it in Route C, so, uh, what is wrong with our eyes? That is really odd. How do I fix that? <laughs> I don't know, it looks kind of funny, so whatever. It looks pretty funny, so, uh, yeah, it is Rock Smash, okay. So he's gonna be like, yo, what's up, dude? Can I teach you how to use the Rock Smash, yo? I'ma show you how. First of all, you gotta get a Pokemans that can use it. Then you go hip up a toss and use it. On the rocky rock, you smash it like you don't even care. Uh, I smashed that rock. I don't even care. I just rhyme care with care. Doesn't even matter. See you later, hater. Yeah, I suck at rapping. I'm sorry. I apologize that you guys had to uh, hear that, my, my terrible rapping, so, uh, over here we got a trainer, I'll accept your challenge, I have a lot of money, that is pretty awesome, so, uh, here we got a cool trainer with a lot of money apparently, so we're gonna go ahead and challenge him to a Pokemon battle, because that's what we do, when we find a, a little rich kid on the road, we challenge him to a Pokemon battle and beat the crap out of him, so there we go, rich boy Winston down, let's see what's in here actually, because maybe there's some cool Pokemon in this route here, uh, Growlithe, that's... That's a good fire type, but like I said, it probably changes when you go to the other versions, so... Really, like I'm saying, it, it just changes the whole Pokedex, and I think overall, I'm just gonna... I kinda like this one better. I, I 
I'm probably going to be wrong about that in the long run, but I don't know. So far, I like Padsy and Monferno. So uh, anyway, over here, we got a couple of more trainers as well as an item over there. So I'm going to pick that up in just a second. But first, we got to battle this super nerd dude. Well, we're taking quite a lot of damage and not really doing that much. So I guess we got a Mach Punch and a Skitty I saw. Oh no, Shanks. Uh, close enough. Scratch that away. There we go. We beat uh, Nerd Trainer Billy there. So got a Pokeball right here. I did see a Rock Smash Rock, did I? So we're going to have to catch something that can actually learn Rock Smash right here. Um, I believe Pat Rats can learn it though, so let's just catch one of those. Let's uh, absorb that away a couple of times and Pokeball go. No, no catching Pat Rat. Okay. Uh, well, it's probably going to kill us if we don't catch it in this turn, which we do. Cool. So, uh, gonna nickname it. Uh, let's go for an ST name here because ST is the best right now. And uh, we're going to go ahead and name it Servant because slaves are wrong. And a lot of people call these HM slaves, but I am against slavery even though it was abolished a long time ago. So we're going to call it Servant instead because that's the way we roll. So, uh, Servant can learn Rock Smash, which is pretty cool. I knew Ra or Wukong could actually learn it, but... Um, don't really want to waste Rock Smash on Wukong, but, uh, before that, I'm actually gonna go heal up, and, uh, there's a Starly, so, I will be RB as we go and edit. And we're back on Route C, where we're gonna have to smash away another rock, like that. Uh, let me try to not speed it up this time, even though it takes, like, a billion hours. Servant uses the Rock Smash! Whoa! So we got a Fisherman right here, look at his eyes, huh. What is wrong with all these eyes? But, uh, anyway, he's gonna give you the old rod, which you can use to catch Pokemons in the water, so maybe if you want a water type, you can catch yourself a nice Magikarp, or something like that, I, I don't really know, but, uh, Old Rod usually gives pretty crappy Pokemon, so maybe not your best option right now. Uh, we do find a Repel here, which is pretty cool, because, uh, we can use that to spray away wild Pokemon. I actually like the Pokemon in these routes, though, because, like I said, it has Pokemon from all the gens, and it just makes it really nice to have to go through routes, like, because, like, every time you'll see a different encounter, even though we did see a bunch of the same stuff, but, I don't know, you know what I mean, I, I hope you know what I mean, I don't, I don't think you know what I mean, never mind, you know what, let's just ember away this, uh, Mankey, who ain't got crap on Padsy and Wukong, because they just make the best combination ever, and, uh, I don't know, oh, that is a super effective, yep, because Scraggy is fighting in dark types, so, that means it's super effective, anyway, we got a bug catcher over here, which Padsy actually can't handle either, no, there aren't many budgets out here. You are right about that, sir. There are apparently Nincadas, but, I mean, what's that got against my Ember? Nothing. Nothing, Fly. You're done, Kent. See you later. P -p Pitch a tent. Yeah. Yeah, rapping skills like you ain't ever seen. Uh, I, I was about to rhyme something else, but I couldn't. So, uh, Orenberry right there, and I don't know what the other one is, but I know that's an Orenberry if you want that. I, however, am too lazy to go through the grass again, so apparently this lady's called Flash. Mose, I'm glad that you're here. Hurry, Dialga and Giratina appeared, and they're fighting. Really? Like, Dialga and Giratina in the third city in the game? Well, uh, this is great. We're in Mystic Town here. Look at that thing. How do we even look at it? Gotta go over here, apparently. Look at that. We're in Giratina's butthole. We're looking at it, at least. Stop them, please. They'll destroy the town. They look very tough. I am very scared. Oh, watch this. What am I, what am I watching here? I'm watching Giratina use Splash. Um, Dialga, you skip attack. Or is that Palkia? I, I don't even... You know what? I'm not gonna bother. I think it's Dialga. Let's just go with that. Let's just go with the fact that it's Dialga. It's probably Palkia, but whatever. I didn't pay enough attention to actually know. And then the screen goes white for about 30 seconds. And now we're in the Torn World, which, uh, looks like the Flower Paradise. Apparently. But I don't mind that, because that is, uh... I know that Shaman is kind of the mascot of this game, so... Maybe that's what's going on here. What? What happened? What? Okay. Apparently I took a wrong turn somewhere. Am I... Am I supposed to go somewhere else or was that right? I don't... I... What? Okay, whatever. Let's just go through this place. Uh, I don't think having Flash would actually help us here considering we're in like some... Oh, whoa. Hey, how you doing? This is... It seems to be ill. Whoa! That's uh, Blue Orb if I remember correctly. Or at least the... What is going on? What the- what? <laughs> I don't even know, I'm in a cave now apparently, and here's Flash again. Mose, you're back, are you okay? During the fight with the Algan Palkia portal appeared, you were sucked into it. After that, there was an explosion, it blew up Piratina back to the distortion world, and- and it was the Alga, okay, so I guess I was right? Wrong? I- I don't know, but apparently we rescued a Shaman, we, uh, caused the destruction of a 
poor little town and she disappears which is completely normal for a human being human beings just just kind of like to disappear sometimes you know like sometimes i'll be sitting in my room recording a video and then i'll randomly that was me pretending to disappear i apologize for it that was pretty terrible but uh here we are in the town that was apparently not destroyed even though there was apparently an explosion um so back up here is route c i am actually going to take a second to heal up and back outside, this is actually Mystic Town, so let's check out some of the folks in here. I don't think there's actually going to be a gym because it's called Town and not City. Um, apparently that's the cave that we came out of, and we can't really... Is that the house that we were at? Let's, let me try it actually. Let me... Can... Yeah, so if you go through that cave and go out of the front of the house, you will actually end up over here. And there is a TM-17 for Protect, which is pretty cool. I did not know that that would happen, so let's check out the other side of the house. Apparently there's nothing here. And back out into Mystic Town from the cave side, we're gonna go explore this housey house with the guy with the big spiky hair. Really? Did you... Oh wow, there are trainers in here. Okay, I was not expecting that, but uh... That is pretty cool. I guess we can get some more levels for Padsy here. As well as Wukong, even though Wukong's already level 15. But uh, yeah, Padsy quickly catching up, uh, because like I said, low tads actually gain levels pretty fast. So, um, I'm guessing not all of these people fight you. This lady probably does. Let's, uh, yep. Here we go. Usually the little boys and some of the women don't fight you. And by woman, I just I, I don't I don't mean to be feminist. I just I'm just saying I'm just saying yo I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anybody anybody here. So uh, there goes Selena, the girl with the big fat weena. And over here we got this dude. I will seriously stop rhyming because every time I rhyme, I just come out with some sort of really inappropriate sort of lyric, and it is pretty bad. So I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I'll stop rapping now. Did I just say ropping? I meant to say rapping, but there we go. We use uh, an ember after about five turns, and apparently we got a Simipore, which is not, or Simis, pan, Panseer, whatever his name is. Stupid Pansy, pans, Panseer, whatever. Gosh, uh, so anyway, we're just going to keep scratching this thing, or absorbing it, I guess. Oh, we died. Well, this is pretty unfortunate. Uh, looks like <laughs> Servant's having to take it out there. That's That's pretty bad. Uh, that both of my Pokemon died. That is pretty unfortunate. So I guess for right now we don't really have anything that can take care of fire types, but I'm sure that will soon be fixed uh, whenever Padsy gains a move of uh, water type. And look, this is what I was saying, see? One of the ladies doesn't fight you, so I wasn't even trying to be feminist, I was just saying that literally some of the women sometimes don't battle you. Apparently this guy doesn't battle you either, so hey, it balances itself out, so yeah, two girls, two boys battle you, unless, okay, this girl doesn't battle you either, she just teaches you metronome, uh, but, uh, okay, let's just teach someone metronome, apparently no one can learn it, so thanks for nothing, lady, let's just talk to this guy in the middle and see what's up with that. You want a gift? If you beat all the trainers and bring the five orange males, I'll give it to you. Oh, you beat all the trainers. No, I don't even, I don't even have orange mail, I don't, I don't know where to get my own mail, that is, that might sound sad, but... Or also arrogant because I'm calling orange male myself because just because my name is munching orange that's pretty dumb but uh, over here we got an herb shop they definitely don't sell mail sorry I had to make sure that they didn't sell mail so uh, what's up with you dude I don't oh wow okay just give me a charcoal for nothing thank you sir everyone in this game is so nice they always do something like literally talking to everyone in this game has actually resulted in giving things or like getting things so that is pretty cool. I don't think we actually have a Pokemon Mart in this town, but uh, someone did tell me that you can actually purchase all the mails back in your hometown. So if I ever do get back there somehow, I will purchase a few of the mails and, uh, you know, basically just uh, do that. So anyway, uh, here we are back on Route C, except this time we're on a different side of Route C, even though it's still the same route, obviously. But uh, let's see what's up here, because this seems to be... Oh, a cut tree. What's up? All right, Zmet, I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. Alright sir, I'll take you on with my uh, Padze Wukong. So uh, I actually thought that Wukong evolved at level 16, but apparently it was 13, so someone was right on that. Congratulations to you, comment a uh, question of the sir. Anyway, uh, we're actually... I'm gonna finish off this episode pretty soon. Uh, let's explore a little bit more of Route C here. Let's pick up some orange berries and whatever this one might be. Cherry berries, because they look nothing like cherries. And also run into another Pat Rack, because that seems to be the Pokemon that we're going to be running most into. So, uh, let's finish off the episode with a rival battle, or a double battle, rather, sorry. Oh, there's not even a double battle, it's just... Oh, it is! Okay, cool. Um, so, let's finish it off with that. Uh, let's actually take out Shinx first, and then Mareep, because for some reason I feel Mareep can't do anything. Wukong learning Fury Swipes. 
Uh, let's get rid of Taunt, because I never use it, because, uh, I'm dumb, and I don't use non-damage dealing moves, because I is dumb, dumb, yo. So anyway, there we go, we beat, uh, Gina, and Mina, and Pina, and Pita from The Hunger Games, so if you enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up, and next episode, uh, we'll figure out where it is that we're supposed to go, because this kind of seems to be a dead end, unless we actually can go down here, which we can't, so see you guys next time.